So now we are going to start adding some of the fasteners to our uh, assembly. So I'm on uh, page 289, number 14 here, and it says we're going to add nuts and bolts to our spider assembly. So I'm going to click place, and I'll move this out of my way so I can see. And on place, I'm going to click on nut, and then I'm going to hold the control key down and click on bolt and I'll say open now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in six of this combination of nuts and bolts one two three four five six and I'll hit escape to exit this all right so uh you know what this is because of the size of these things and there's two components there i'm going to go back to my tools oops nope view sorry and i'm going to turn off degrees of freedom here and i'm going to take a look at this a little bit closer just to show you how to go about doing this so here's what we're going to do i'm going to press the escape key twice or 50 times i don't know the alt key on your keyboard i'm going to hold that down and i am going to click and drag the outside circular edge of this bolt and what happens is this little glyph appears uh, that shows me the uh, insert tool and I am then going to release the Alt key and I'm keeping the left button pressed and I'm going to drag the cursor over to the uh, hole that I'm going to put the bolt into and then I'm going to release and I think I screwed that up let's try that again I hit escape a well, I'll hit escape a couple million times. I'm going to uh, push down on the Alt key and I'm going to click on that edge. I'll release the Alt key. Okay, and I'll put this down here. And I'm going to release the uh, button. And it stayed that time. I don't know why it went away that first time. Okay. So I'm going to put in the bolts in all of these holes. So that one, that one, this one over here, this guy here, and this guy up here. Um, and by the way, I, I forgot when I was counting these out, this one down here. So I'm not going to do all six of these right here. But what I am going to show you is how to do this uh, with the opposite side of the bolt and we're going to use uh, the nut here okay so uh, the nuts have a sidedness to them probably you can see this chamfer here that chamfer typically goes to the outside when you are working with uh, nuts and let's see oh no it's chamfered on both sides so it doesn't matter I don't think I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, doesn't matter which way we do this. Okay, that's cool. So uh, I'm going to just take and drag this down closer to the other, uh, to the part that I'm going to put it onto. And I'll zoom in on this. All right, so uh, just like the last time, I'm going to uh, hit the escape key a couple times so I'm out of everything. I'm going to push down the Alt tool and I'm going to left click and pull away and then I'll release my alt key and I'll come down to the bolt okay and I'm going back and forth here to kind of illustrate something for you uh, you can see when I go forwards here uh, I think this is what I want let's see oops did it again I guess I'm jumping the gun here too soon. 
alt key down click on whoops the edge of the circle here release and put this right on there and uh, let's look at this from straight on you can see that the nut is not right up against the body of this thing so I'm going to go back to my uh, isometric view and I'll fix that and a couple ways I can fix that I'm probably just gonna undo and bring this back in here so we'll do it one more time alt key click go on to this thing it's probably touching it right there oops see this this drag thing is <laughs> is dragging these uh these nuts in it is kind of uh difficult sometimes okay there it is all right i'm going to do this again and i'll pause it and do this and come back so it only took me two more tries <laughs> i think it's on here now this this dragging and placing things is very useful uh, you just got to get used to it and you can see now that my uh, nut component is definitely up against the part of the uh, assembly so your job now is to do this uh, five more times and you'll be done with the project uh, put it onto a, a title block okay uh, it's a school title block the GCC title black and uh, you can just do an isometric view of it that looks like uh, you know like this okay and uh, submit it to me